What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last time, we progressed further through the kelp forest, and we went down this kelp slide to try to beat Mermaid Man's record, and we succeeded. In this episode, we are going to continue going down this slide since there are a few more alternate paths that we can go down. Now, thankfully, we... The good news is we are no longer timed, so I can try to do this as leisurely as possible. The bad news is that this is a new recording session. And I haven't gotten around to editing the last episode, so I've completely forgotten which paths I have and haven't gone on. I am also very impatient. So this may take a few tries to actually get down to where the split paths are. So we all know what this means whenever there's a sliding section. Time for cutting! Okay, so now that we've reached the checkpoint, can actually take a look down some of these alternate paths. I think this is one such path. Now the question is, does it lead to anywhere of importance? Why did I suddenly change directions like that? I mean, I know why, but that was... Oh, It was still kind of dumb. Okay, whatever. As long as I just constantly start from this checkpoint, I should be fine. Let's see, so where... Oh, hold up. There is apparently a way to go further up. So maybe there's a path that I didn't see when I went up the first time? By the first time, I mean this time? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? God dang it. Okay, I do see a way up. There is another leaf. Okay, I just need to... Jump right up here and completely miss. Damn it. There we go. Okay, made it up here. And there's the sock. Okay, so that's at least one sock. Is... Are there any others that I have potentially missed up here? Don't see any leaves, damn it. Two hours later. Hey, anything else nearby? Oh, hello. Wait. Oh, that's just the end. So there was not really much anything else here then. Well, crap. Oh, well, we got a sock at least. So there's at least that. Which is kind of annoying to just do the same thing over and over again, not even know if you're going the right way. Well, here's the way... Oh, okay, yeah, there's no way to get back up there. Or is there? Oh, okay, so that's now there. So that's at least convenient. And let's go... Where's Mrs. Bob? There she is. SpongeBob, there you are. Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned. No problem, Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff. I'll cherish it always. SpongeBob, don't lie. This was not a fun area to go through. <laughs> All right, so that's the final golden spatula in this area, though we're still missing three socks. 
Um, I'm half tempted to just not really care all that much, but I do have to come back here eventually anyway. Because we need to get all of the different- whoa. Full of colors now. Because we eventually need to get come back here and get all of the socks. So that's going to be absolute barrels of fun when we have to come back here. But whatever, that'll be for another time. Oh, jeez, what just... I didn't even realize that was an enemy. Okay, well, we'll come back here another time when I've kind of recovered from just absolutely loathing this place. Let's leave. All right, so now that we're done going through the kelp forest, um, you know, let's check out the movie theater. May I help you? Oh wait, 40,000 shiny objects? Oh, I must have misread that. Cause we only have about a little shy of 8,000. Okay, that's going to be Fun, though admittedly with all the backtracking I'm gonna need to do, who knows, I might get that many shiny objects anyway. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? But we've got enough for this, so let's go ahead and turn these into Mr. Krabs. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. Alright. So that is now our 75th golden spatula, and if we really wanted to, we could just go into Plankton's lab and just finish off the game if we really wanted to. We're not, because I aim to 100% this, but we very well could. Now, since, well, even though we could try to find some more secrets here in regular Bikini Bottom, I kind of want to try out a new area. So let's head on over to the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. It's going to be as dark as the kelp forest. The graveyard of ships. Somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome specter waits. Not really. Uh, in which case... Ooh, okay, this actually looks a lot better from my end. I decided to turn the brightness back down on my TV because I couldn't see anything. This actually looks kind of cool and kind of menacing. I like it. Hello, Mr. Flying Dutchman, sir. <laughs> Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going. I don't understand why he doesn't do this. He can float, he's a ghost. Oh, new enemy. Oh boy. Um, wasn't me. Okay, we'll just do that. So that gets rid of that, and there we go. Nice having a long range weapon. Though admittedly, then it 
if I get hit by his bubbles, then what? There it is. If I get hit by his bubbles, then I'm just going to go sliding for a while. Okay, so there are those things. I thought I saw something over here. Oh, a wall jump. And is that a spatula? That is a spatula. Okay. Um, this is going to be interesting to try to get. Also, I was gonna say, it's also going to be interesting trying to get out. Even though, like, I could see what I needed to do. It was just a matter of, again, doing it. All right. Just exploring around, see what I can find. See if maybe I can try to find some socks along the way as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I figured there was one of you. All right, get over here. I missed. And I paid the price. Get over here. Okay, is there anything down? No, that is just death. Okay, well, there are these buttons. Interesting, okay. So I can just do that and I can move those around. Do we have any reason to put those over on the other side? So I don't really see anything. Um, survey says not really. Okay, well, do that and then I can just get rid of those. Not really that hard to deal with. It's just kind of a little annoying when they just have full spiral full of death and destruction going about them. Oh, hello. There is a sock over there. How do I reach that, though? How do I reach that? Uh, let's see. It's not really a good way of getting over there. Hmm. If I was Sandy, I might be able to do that, but I have no idea if I even get Sandy on this level. Okay, well, looks like I just need to go find a bus stop and find out. Oh boy. Don't think you can try to fool me like your friend did. I'm on to you. Okay, so this is going to be interesting to try to deal with. Oh, that only goes so far. Interesting. Uh, what if I move this? Oh, hello! There's a bounce pad off the bow of the ship. Oh, boy! Okay, that gets me back up, which means there must be a way to get down. Indeed, there is. And there's something there. Probably a sock, but... This green goop is too high. I can't do anything about it at the moment. Okay, so where does... Th oh, this one actually doesn't move. So, I guess that's a way for me to get back up? I'm going to just assume that's just a way for me to get back up. I also can't wall jump from that angle. Wait, what? Then... Wait. How do I do that? <laughs> okay, so hold up. I can move that over. But I can't do anything from that side. This is interesting puzzle. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might be thinking about this all wrong. I can get back over here. Then I can just jump on top of these two. And there we go. Oh jeez, this moves. Oh no! You piece of crap! Oh damn it. Okay, let's try this again. Is he gonna throw anything at me? And more importantly, am I gonna fall? No, well he... Well, he actually came towards me. 
makes it easier just to hit him. Okay, I don't think there's any good way of getting to that. Not a SpongeBob. Okay, oh jeez, I did not realize that that was one of the bubbles. For what different reason, I thought. I thought that that was like one of the duplicator trons or whatever. Okay, let's get rid of those. And then we'll go ahead, get rid of that, and then run up and hit him. There we go. Okay, can I go through that? No, that's just a window. Okay. There's gotta be something that I can really do here. There's another one of these guys. Ugh. Why are there so many of these bubble guys? Okay, bubble bulls also take them out really easily. And there's another duplicator Tron. Great. Okay, so if I can get rid of that. There we go. And then I can get rid of these robots. All right, and we get another one of these puzzles. So what exactly is the best course of action for me to take? Aside from beating up robots. Now, uh, let's see. That. Hmm. That might be a way up. That goes across. Which means I can put that down and not be able to squeeze through that like you logically should. And there we go. All right, is there anything else for me to do? Well, there's the golden spatula, so I may as well just try to finish this little section off before we call it a day. Down she goes. Okay, yeah, still can't do anything about that, at least not right now. Um, nothing else that I can see. Oh, jeez, this is actually a slide. Okay, anything else? There's a box, let's go ahead and activate this. And get caught on a missile. And here we are. Okay. And we can actually see the Flying Dutchman ship in the background. Oh boy. Well... I'm not entirely sure this is the best place to call it a day. But there's not really too much else that we... Well, we... Well, I say that, even though there's totally places for us to progress onward. But we are running pretty low on time, and that sort of looks like a new area. So we are going to have to come back to the different secrets that we saw here another time when we can actually, I don't know, maybe lower the goop. But until then, that will do it for this episode. So, next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. We are going to continue our exploration through the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. I didn't expect that to actually do anything. And we will see what we can do about reclaiming the Flying Dutchman ship. There's not much we can do in this area for right now, despite the fact that we do see a few secrets. Goo Tanker Ahoy. So there's something about the Goo Tanker that we would have to deal with. But I'm more prone to maybe worrying about that a bit later. It is something that we have to deal with, but maybe not right now. Instead, we will just focus on going on ahead and firing those cannons to re-commandeer the Flying Dutchman ship from the robots. So until then, everyone, take care. <laughs>